Hello and welcome to the first edition of the Electrolube 2K Conformal Coating video series. We will be discussing some of the frequently asked questions regarding how to set up production with our 2K materials and demonstrating how simple it really is. In the first instalment, we will be running through the basic setup required for 2K materials, as well as the differences you may find when compared to the more traditional solvent-based coatings. So which valves are required for application of 2K materials, and how do they work? PVA, Nords and Asymtec, and Micronic have specialist 2K valves available, which can be retrofitted to existing production lines. These are the Nords and Asymtec AM range, PVA, VPX 2KS, and Micronic MYC50. Your machine manufacturer will provide you with technical support and assistance with the initial installation of the valves, and most technicians familiar with PVA, Nordson or Micronic machines should have little trouble assembling them. That being said, we wanted to briefly cover how the valves worked, so to give you a better understanding of some of the elements to come later in this series, and to highlight the key differences that technicians will need to be aware of both during production and during maintenance. All the valves essentially work in an identical way. Materials are fed separately into the valve as 2K coating, referred to as part A, and the reaction agent, referred to as part B. This can either come from cartridges in the machine, as we have here, or external reservoirs depending on the volume of production. At the stage where material enters the valve, there is really little difference compared to a normal solvent applicator, other than there are two inlets side by side. However, as the material moves down the valve, it enters into a progressive cavity pump, effectively a helix screw. This consists of a series of cavities, and with each turn, the material passes from one cavity to another, hence progressive cavity. The pumps can be spun at different speeds to actively control the flow of two material parts. By selecting the correct speed for each individual pump, the mix ratio of the material can be controlled. The mix ratio is controlled entirely by settings within the software, making it easy for the operator to adjust accordingly for different 2K materials. Please refer to the product technical data sheet for the correct mix ratio. The material then passes into a static mixer, which, via a series of mixing elements, combines the part A and part B, mixing them together before dispensing. Finally, the material passes through a spray cap, which attaches over the mixer. This uses compressed air to atomize the material as it is dispensed, allowing it to be sprayed over an area rather than dispensed in a single line. So to recap, the key differences compared to solvent coating applicators are the twin progressive cavity pumps and the static mixer. Once the 2K material is combined in the static mixer, the curing reaction will commence. This means that unlike solvent coatings, whereby you can drop the valve into solvent during line stop to prevent curing, with 2K material, this is not an option. Instead, the material should be purged from the static mixer during idle times. However, the static mixer has been designed to be easily replaceable with a simple interlock system so that if a material does cure, or if there is an extended idle time, you can simply change the static mixer when you're ready to continue. We generally would not advise material be left in the mixer for prolonged periods of time, however. Electrolube have worked closely with both PVA, Nordson and Micronic to develop these valves to ensure they are suitable for our 2K materials and are happy to offer any further assistance required. Stay tuned for part 2 of the 2K series.